Uh, hello, we're here with Rosemary McGee. Rosemary, can you tell us where you're from? Uh, I've lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico for 27 years. And Rosemary, can you tell us um, what happened when you went to vote in 2004? Yes, uh, I went to the polls and I gave them my name and they looked down the list and then one of the poll workers said, but you've already voted. And I said, no. And she said, well, yes. And she turned the roster around for me and she showed me, you know, the signature where I had voted. And I said, that's not my signature and I am who I said I am. I got out my driver's license, credit cards, even my checkbook to show her my printed checks and everything to show her that I was the person that I said I was. Um, so this is what happened. Then um, they, different people were talking to different people and they gave me a provisional ballot, to, a paper ballot to vote. And so uh, I went over and I voted on that provisional. And, and what polling place do you vote at, Rosemary? Uh, I vote at Heights Cumberland Presbyterian Church on Academy. And uh, do you know what happened with your provisional ballot? I was told by Denise Lamb's office that my provisional was thrown out because I had already voted and I said no, I didn't vote and briefly went through what had happened and she said, well, according to the state with our machines, you already voted so your ballot was discarded. And Denise Lamb is with the Secretary of State's office? I believe so. Was, uh, there's no uh, identification requirement to vote at the polls in New Mexico? Uh, there wasn't uh, when I voted, and I don't think that there, there still is. This last time, um, or last couple times, I guess, that I had voted, um, I believe that you, they ask you, this was when they had little cards that they sent out that were good for like one or two elections that... Um, were scrapped because there were so many errors on them. Mine, mine was fine, it was correct, and I showed that. You are an active voter, you participate in every major election. Yes. Uh, no one at the, none of the poll workers at the polling place knew that this person signing your name wasn't you? Obviously not, and I did not know any of the poll workers, and I have lived in the same house for the 27 years that I've lived in Albuquerque, and I did not see anyone I recognized, usually when, you know, we'd go up to vote, I, you know, you see neighbors and, and friends and whatever, but the poll workers, no one was familiar to me at all. So is it fair to say that someone uh, impersonated you by showing up at the polling place and signing oh, your name and voting in your place? Definitely, because they said that they were me and the signatures were not even close. Uh, and they, they said this was who they were and they were there to vote. Are you in, intending to do anything different this year um, to hopefully prevent uh, that happening to you again. I've been thinking about it and it, it kind of scares me so I think I'm going to vote absentee because I just don't want to take a chance that maybe this some, same person or someone else said, oh yeah, it was just so easy to do and I don't really want to be at the polls at 7 a.m. to vote and so I think I'll just do it absentee and that way it'll be, and do it early, you know, and get it in.